But I do know this about Daniel. When they all left Babylon, he stayed. So know that, know that Daniel uh, had an affinity where God had established him. And <clears throat> so right now we're not understanding it all, but we are seeing certain things manifest that are very, very, very key for us, very important for us. And they didn't understand that ecclesia word because it was not a Christian word. It was a Roman word. It was a government word. It was an understanding about who would rule and govern. And the Lord had just used this word, and I don't think they got it until... 70 years later, when the Lord came back to review his word. Now, I'm getting somewhere right now. Turn with me to Revelation. He comes back to review his word. And he'll gather you together to review a word he gave to William Penn. And we need to understand right now we're under review. And I so appreciate all of you who are saying we're willing to be reviewed. And we're willing to be watched. And we're willing to shift and change so we accomplish the word of the Lord here in the earth realm. Now that's what the book of Revelation is about. He comes back through Daniel's visions, through Peter's visions, and of course his sacrifice and his resurrection. But 70 years later, he comes back to review the word he gave Peter. And John witnessed that word. And John is on Patmos Island, and now comes the review. That's what I liked about that sovereign moment word. Now comes the review. Don't think that one prayer you have prayed over this 13 colonies has, is not being reviewed. It's just that he knows the timing of the ultimate visitation. But he comes back and John's in prison and he starts reviewing that word about the ecclesia and he takes the seven key churches of the region. Now, that's very important for you because it's about to become your next assignments. The review of the ecclesia in the 13 colonies. And he, he goes to each one of them and he tells them each what they have done well. He does not lambast us and just start picking over what all we did bad when he first starts talking to us about where we are. I mean, goodness, don't ever get under that condemnation. He doesn't condemn any man. He, uh, he knows that if you don't come into alignment with him, Satan will just eat your lunch. Tell you everything you ever did wrong. Especially, I know when we lost twins, we had to say, now, wait a minute. Yes, we could have done several things, but, but God. And you let, you let God work with you. You just let him work with you because he's reworking you in the midst of what we go through. And so in the midst of this, he starts talking to John about the ecclesia. And he starts saying, uh, tell me about Ephesus and let me then tell you about Ephesus. 
And he says what they did well first, but then he starts telling all these seven churches, this is what you could have done better. Two of them, he didn't have any problem with. So don't run in saying bad things about one group if God's not saying it. He didn't have a problem with two of the churches. But then there was something he said to every one of them in the territory. If you don't hear what the Spirit is saying to the church today, you're not going to make it. See, he, he had already said it 70 years prior, and now he was saying it again. You're going only by hearing what the Spirit is saying today, like we did tonight, will you be able to build into the future. And every one of them had to hear what he had to say to them. And then he said, if you'll hear this, you'll overcome. Now, he's doing this again with all of us. And here, I mean, all you'd have to do, I, I, he told Ephesus, you're going to have to return back to your first love. You've got great discernment, but you've lost your love. Ooh. He told one of them, you're going to have to get past the fear that has led you astray. See, fear, fear has been unleashed on us. He told one of them, you're going to have to know where the seat of Satan is in your territory. That's what we were talking about yesterday. You're going to have to define the seat of Satan and overthrow it, or it's going to get you. See, I love the way the Lord dealt with every one of them, and it was a territorial dealing. See, I think the Lord still operates like that today. He's looking at the 13 colonies and saying, you formed this nation, now I'm reviewing you again. And some way or another, you stuck Washington, D.C. in the mix, and I'm going to review that. Because that was the decision you all made, and now we're going to have to deal with that. Are you understanding how history and the spirit works? So you're going to have to know your destiny in each 13 states as it was meant to be. And then you're going to have to review how Washington's operating under that destiny. I didn't see Washington, D.C. in that mix of 13 colonies. So, <laughs> we just have to understand it better and say, uh-oh. I think these churches said, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We sort of messed up along the way a little, but, but he told every one of them it's not too late. Tell somebody it's not too late. <laughs> then he told one of them, you better wake up to Jezebel. You have fallen asleep to her. And unless you overturn her, you're going to get it. And then he told another one, I want you to strengthen yourself. Put your hand on somebody and say, he likes you in the midst of all this review. <laughs> now look at somebody and say, you always got to work with, so he's got to strengthen you some way. 